Are these yours? Yeah. You like Shea Gilgis Alexander? I do. I really like him too. I think, I his, think his, his prices are yeah, yeah his prices are still like so affordable. I know it's honestly wild. To me. Yeah, they have some really good um, obsidian ones yeah. of him of uh, SGA like yeah. in the. I think I saw a blue parallel. It went for like two or three hundred, but yeah. it's still like it's so nice. Yeah, I have. One yeah, I really like these. You do. I just picked up an an Aiton orange obsidian. Okay. And. One other guy, a Sexton base yeah. obsidian. They're I mean, just so cheap, yeah. Yeah, the 2018 class. Even the 2019 class is really good. There's a lot of guys like uh, Kobe White and Baisley that still haven't really like hit their stride. Yeah. RJ Barrett, you know, there's there's a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah there you have Baisley right there yeah, too. Obviously, I got a lot of Thunder guys. Yeah. Do you like um, Hamadou Diallo? He's I, gone now, yeah, but... He's gone now. I like him. I really like him. He's, Watch. Yeah. Watch. yeah oh really? I'm gonna come around. He had a good year last year. Oh, that's nice. I like him a lot. I think I think he's a really like fun player to watch. Oh, yeah. And when he gets the minutes and he gets the shots, like he's putting up the numbers. Yeah. So he's, a good he's good. Like he could he could be really good. He could turn develop into somebody. Um, like so really good, good. yeah. I feel like he's almost been given up on by a lot of people, but he's what? Yeah. yeah. I'm not like necessarily a Thunder fan, but I like so many of their players, like uh, Alexander, Lou Dort, um, Baisley. I like Diallo. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's so many guys that that I really like on their team. I was seeing comps at like 35 to 40. I was hoping to get it for like 30 bucks. I know it might be too low. I know. I, know. I, I wasn't even gonna ask once I saw the comps. So yeah. 42. Yeah. yeah. Let me think about it. There's a Kobe White, like the exact same card in a Kobe White. If that guy comes down to like 25 or 30, I'll probably get that. Um, if not, then maybe I'll circle back okay, around. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks yeah, for I, I, I good looking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think the price is, is more than fair because it's a silver too. Um, so the price is more than fair. I just, I don't know how how badly I want to no, spend on RJ Barrett. I'd rather pick up Zion. Yeah, so yeah, you, cool. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you. Uh, Lando Norris is is. Do you have a whole stack of them, or is it just one card? Oh, there's all but different kinds. Oh, there's all kinds. This is a nice card. The refractor. They're all. All of them are refractors. Yeah. Leclerc. Do you like F1, or do you just uh, did you just open the box? I like it. You like it? I like it as well. I like it a lot. Who do you go it's for? Easy, it's easy for me because I'm old and dumb. <laughs> Driver. Exactly. There you go. That's what that's what I try to tell people. I was like, it's not hard. You if you watch one race, you'll know like most of what you need to know yeah. about the teams and the drivers, and then it's just all the technical stuff after that, right? I made a mistake of the I saw the third season drop on Netflix. So uh, dr of so Drive to Survive. The season. Well, then of course then you gotta go back and watch one through again. Which sounds familiar. Really? I may have. Uh, are you local in Dallas? No. Oh no. Or do you go to the I'm other da the other the main show. Dallas card show? I've gone over there. I may have talked you, to you there. Do you I do YouTube as well. Uh, Super Jam Sports. Super Jam. Super Jam yeah. The, the Superman. Yeah, yeah. I, I comment on your stuff. Really? Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. I'll I'll put you in there. Uh, that's you're the first person who's been like I I recognize you from I YouTube without. You said something about oh is that all Orlando? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. Mark, okay. This is Mark, Mark from Super Jam Series. Sports fan. Yes. <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you for watching. Yep. It's growing. I like this. So. I think there's some great deals to be had on some of these cards. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find the Formula One stuff. I think you're the only one at this show that has <laughs> F1 stuff for the most part. I was about yeah. to give up. 
I went Lately, I've <laughs> only been buying graded, but with F1, it's it's hard to find a good deal on a graded card. So, now, I did buy so raw it is. Sergio Perez has like solidified his like kind of his place on that Red Bull team for now. I'd yeah. say he's been he's been doing well, yeah. but you never know with all these young guys coming up. Yeah, I think they're about to announce, maybe it's today or tomorrow, the drivers for next year. So we'll see who Lewis Hamilton's teammate's going to be. And it could be George Russell. So I don't know if you have any George Russell car. Oh, right, right there. So if he gets, oh uh, yeah, there's Russell. So if he gets signed by Mercedes in the next couple of days, that car should skyrocket. Well, did you see what ESPN put out Friday? Uh, the sh Friday. Monday. About the Schumacher documentary no, and stuff. About uh, Hamilton's new partner. Who it could be. Who who did they say? Stroll? Oh, he's a good driver. If he gets it over George Russell, that'd be a huge surprise. But yeah, I, I, I can see it. Now that you said it, I can totally see it. These, um, these paid drivers, the ones who actually pay for their seat, um, they... They usually don't last more than two or three years, right? Their their dad's like paying like fifty million or something for him to get that seat, and you know after after even two years, even your dad's gonna be like, okay, son, it's not worth a hundred million dollars to to have you drive a car around a track and come last every time. So how many more years does he have? The problem is now he's not on Ferrari anymore. So because he's on a lesser, I think he's on Aston Martin now. He actually, he came second in the last race and then got disqualified for the fuel thing, but they're appealing it and it's a whole thing. Um, but I don't think he can win a driver's championship again because he's not on the top three teams. So, and then, so what's he out there doing? I mean, you know yeah, saying? exactly. If you're, if you're the team owner, he's got to be at his last, this yeah. his last year. But then there's guys like uh, Kimi Raikkonen and, uh, and Fernando Alonso who are still going, and they're older than Vettel. So, so Vettel still has room, but but yeah, I mean, he was in the wrong car at the wrong time. Yeah. It's sad. But I mean, he probably dreamed his whole life to drive that car, and then, and then it's not fast enough when he gets in it. I think Alonso is a, a hugely underrated guy because... He raced, he even came to like IndyCar to race a ra to race the Indy 500 just to try and get that triple crown and and so he's, he could be someone who's being slept on. Big. I like the, the thought of like a team being able to change something around and they're like, like creating the double blown diffuser, which is something that uh, Ross Braun did for the um, Braun F1 team and they won their first year. So they... He came in, he took over a team that was not good, and they won the entire thing because they came up with a technical loophole, which is called a double-blown diffuser. To me, that's the coolest thing ever. And next year, it's supposed to be a new, like an overhaul of the design, which is good. The last time they did that, Mercedes continued their dominance. Everyone thought that, I mean, Red Bull caught up a little bit, but Mercedes just blew it out of the water again. So it could happen again, and then we have another five years of just Mercedes dominating. I like Max. He's only seven points behind. Yeah. Considering he hasn't raced the last. And Hamilton has hasn't looked fast. He hasn't looked like poised. He's not focused. So I I mean I don't know. Can we make a deal on some of these? I think I'm gonna put these back. That's it. Are you sure? I was willing to go a little higher, but but I won't I won't complain because that's a really good deal. Thank you, Mark. I really appreciate that. I'll jab you next time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate like meeting guys like you as well who who watched the the channel. When you first I'm like, I know that voice. I can't believe you recognize my voice. I didn't. I've never like thought that. Oh, my voice is unique to where. That's cool. Who sold a uh, Hamilton Sapphire uh, one of ten last week at the National? He really? It he opened it out of a pack. Really? He got it graded up there, sold it for fifty k. Wow. Because a raw one went for one of the other ones went for twelve, so he got it graded. Wow. How's that for a national experience? Yeah, he gave, the guy gave him fifty k. Oh my gosh. He just, he 
Did you sub all these yourself to SGC? Most everyone on my team. And which I'm very that's very good. Picky, mm -hmm. which ones I send in. Oh yeah. You in you so you inspect them really carefully. Really yeah. And really clean. And you I really got, yeah. Last group I got seven out of seven on tens. Nice. And I've got another group coming. So a lot of people are saying they're not grading well, but I see a lot of tens here, so I think it's smart to send them to SGC as well because there's just so little graded Formula One stuff that it just makes sense. I I picked up um, in my last video I picked up the uh, Michael Schumacher's the 1992 grid Michael Schumacher's. I picked up all four that exist. Yeah. I picked up eights and nines. They've all doubled in a month. What price do you have these, uh, the Zion 9 and 10 at? It's looking for like really good deals. 50 and 120. I'd probably do uh, for both of them, if you wanted both, I'd do, I'd do 140. 140 for both? 145 for both. And uh, if you were just to do the red one, how low would you go on that? I think it said 50 on there. Bucks on. You would do 30 on the yeah, red one? Yeah, cool. I'm going to circle around and think about the pink one, check some comps, and I'll probably end up getting the red one either way. Thanks, man. Actually, let's just do it. The last time I, I did that, I lost the card, so <laughs> let's just do it for 30, and then I'll still think about the pink one, and, and then hopefully you still give me a good deal on, on that one. Thanks a lot, man. It was actually the first card when I walked in. It was the first card that I saw um, that I would, like considered buying. But you were talking to some other people, so I did a little loop, yeah. and I checked the comps on this one, but I didn't check them on the pink. Um, but in my head, I was like, you know, thirty bucks would be a great price for this yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's card. It's, it's beautiful. Bit yeah. Okay. Yeah, it gives me a little bit of room yeah. to to do something with it, and it gives me some trade value. I love Zion. I love Zion. If my budget was bigger, I'd, I'd probably get some bigger ones. But yeah, I got you. Cool. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Got it. Boom. They're like... Ooh. Best, best, best buddies. And Toto's the one that got him involved in the F1. Ah. So there's a little bit of 